Welcome back to Ribbon Candy Hooking. I have been ill for a couple of days. I just haven't been feeling well. So I have to say, welcome to Hot Mess Thursday. I mean, I'm pulling it together now and saying, come on, immune system, kick it in. Feeling a little bit better, but I thought I'd record a quick video for you as I sit here in the window seat with Buttons the dog and the radiator pouring beautiful heat out. Uh, I am working on a project for the Magpie Times and I am, I made this really large. I don't want to show you the whole design. It's for, it's a pattern called the secret garden based on the book. And I don't want to show you the whole design, but for whatever reason, I guess I had brain damage, was sick, whatever. I made the pattern huge. So, and I'm not going to sort of deconstruct or start again. I just have to do it quickly. So I have been kind of pulling on my techniques for hooking very quickly. So let me show you what I mean by that, because while we all hook a little bit differently, um, at different speeds, certainly, um, there are a few things you can do to kind of, you know, pump up your game a little bit in terms of speed. Remember that amazing, uh, iconic Canadian hooker, Elizabeth Lafour, who did the giant presidential, um, <coughs> portraits and biblical portraits and I forget how many loops she pulled up a minute it was nothing like what I can do I'm not I'm not a speed anything but let me see if I can get going with some speed I'm gonna come over here to the green I've got two tips for you that should help you hook a little bit faster one of them is to hook in a straight line right when you hook in a straight line you're always oh, I already have one going you're always going to go a lot faster, right? You go with the grain. Um, there's not that much resistance. The main thing about hooking at your best speed, this is it. This is the main tip, is you have to stay focused. Keep your canvas as close to your face as possible. So as high up as possible, you have got to stay focused on the next hole. While you're coming up in one hole, you're already looking forward at the next place that you're gonna pull a loop up. That is it, that is it. As soon as you start hesitating, looking up, having conversations, checking who's which character is talking on the TV, that's when you are gonna run into trouble. If you can just stay with, this is, what I, this is where I'm at, this is where I'm going next, even if you're coming around corners and stuff like that, like I will be here, um, and it's hard to do. It's remarkably hard to uh, stay focused, right? I, I have, I mean, I'm, I'm a definitely ADHD person. I have a hard time with that. But the thing is, the, be the better you can do with that one thing, just pulling up one loop and looking at exactly where you mean to place the next loop, that's the key. That's the key to getting some good speed going. And it might be that you never need speed. It might be you do this to relax. Or it might be that sometimes you're doing a project and you're trying to get it in for a specific thing, Magpie Dimes, or Gallery Night or something like that, and you really need to hustle. This is this is the best technique. Use as many straight lines as you can, straight shots, right, as opposed to kind of filling it in according to the contour, the shape. And just keep your eye on the next hole. Uh, just as if you were working on a sewing machine, right? It's, you get used to it. Just like as if you were sewing, you know, your your eyes have to be on the presser foot and where the stitches are going and where your fingers are in relation to the presser foot. But you do get used to it. You don't look up to see which character is speaking. It's just one of those things. It's just a, it's a practice thing. It's a learned thing. Um, it's something that your your body, your hands, and your eyes start to memorize. It's extra hard to do with children around, particularly sick children. But they are constantly, is, Dom, is Domino's Pizza here yet? Did you call? Did you order? Does anyone know where the dog is? Are there any more buttered Cheerios? You know, it's, it's sometimes impossible, but give it your best shot. Uh, it is a great technique, sort of a Zen technique to get your mind into the habit of, um, you know, doing an exercise within an exercise. If you do this little challenge uh, for yourself, with yourself, inside of a project, you'll find that you will be able to cover large bits of area like backgrounds and skies and just large stretches 
if you're able to maintain that like fast hooking technique. And then for the rest of it, that's maybe when you're half watching Hallmark and you're half here, you know, half here, half here, half, you know, more, you need more than two halves to do that. But that's usually how we hook. I think, I hope you're having a great week. I hope that you are doing well. I will see you back soon on a more regular basis at Ribbon Candy Hooking. I'm definitely feeling better. There's not, this is not COVID. Nothing is uh, seriously wrong. Just a, a cold or a flu or something like that that really, really got a hold of me. Got a hold of me. I will see you soon at Ribbon Candy Hooking. Have a great afternoon, everybody.